What's going on, people? This is T-Money. We're back. I believe I actually come in here and do a story time because I feel like I have a lot of untold stories. Somebody got to hear them, okay? People that are actually close to me probably already know what actually went down. But, you know, first when I first started my video on my YouTube, I used to do these story times. Um, but I'm just going to, like, you know, just give you a little bit of what's going on. All this story uh, that I'm going to tell you guys, this is this is crazy because the, the thing is I'm doing this because the other day I was making a video um, on um, Skim Sam. As you already know, I do commentary, yeah, Skim Sam, and I do review the video every day. Okay. Before we get into this video, I just want to make sure that you guys are subscribing and you guys are also liking the video and sharing. Okay, sharing is scary. So. Um, I happen to do to review Skim Sam. I think in the reviewer, something just hit my mind because there was this round table type of situation that was going on. Ka Melita ha the doc din top, you know, board of directors on a disciplinary hearing. And I was like, oh my god, this just reminded me of something. That happened to me a while back. Okay, I hate being put on a spotlight. You know, people, when they put you on a table and they just start throwing questions here, you know, left and right, that actually, that's actually what happened. The first round table that I actually um, experienced was back at TUT when I was applying for my master's that I ended up not doing, um, my master's, and... You know, I was submitting the proposal for my um for my research and stuff like that, and I had the um the head of the department, I had my the lectures, I had everybody there. They were sitting on the table. Then I had to literally just sit in the middle of these people and then present my case to these people. The scope, methodologies, everything that I'm going to be applying on this research you know and i was freaking the hell out the round table i hate this type of meetings because this is where it gets me really really nervous and it takes me back to where i don't want to go and the second one was actually when i was still in tut the school of business when i went i wanted to do the uh the mba and then i had a meeting with one of the ladies that um I don't even know, but you know, I know that I had an appointment. I had to go present my uh, my uh, my study with this person, and luckily it was just her alone. So I had to like, it wasn't really that hard. I had to like sit in front of her and tell her how am I going? What's my approach when it comes to you know um, uh, doing this MBA, of which I also did not even do because I had to go to United States. Now I'm in the United States. There comes another freaking situation. But in this case, it was really, really bad. It was just like one of those situations where we're like, oh my God, what got into me? But like, you know, sometimes when you keep doing you keep doing these things every day, like oh try to and turn on try and turn on because I also how we show the show the hali lutua let out just a let out sasa, let out the next day, and then you know it keeps continuing, you know over and over and over and over again and it's like there's no stopping this is more like that so here i am i work at disney you know what i'm saying excited all happy and all of that and um uh one day it was actually a restaurant where i used to work so one day what happened was uh, you know what i'm not even gonna lie because i felt like at this point i don't care but I felt like the managers, they used to hate me. Like, I've never, I've never, and I, I knew that. The thing is, you know, sometimes people, that's one thing I can I, I can tell you, and the one thing I want you to, to teach you as a human being, okay? Learn to humble yourself. And apart from humbling yourself, but you, mu you must also learn to, um, to talk. I was very quiet. I'm not a quiet person. But it takes me time. Look, I, I'm a Gemini. Like, I read energies really good. You know, when I enter the room, I can read energy. And if it's done, it's done. You know what I'm saying? Vibe check, vibe check, vibe check. I'm open to you. We good. If I enter the room and 
I don't, you know, I, I'm not feeling you. It's going to take me time to kind of, to, to open up to you. You know what I'm saying? Like, I felt like it was more like that. Sometimes you might even think that people hate you or you might think that sometimes people don't even hate you, but people just don't understand you because of, you know, being self-centered and being, what you, what do you call them? People that are always onto themselves. Yeah, those people. I don't want to say that they were like, maybe like hating me because I don't want to do like a discrimination and the hate is a really bad word to use in this case. Uh, I would say, um, I don't know, maybe they do not understand me because I was quiet. Because I, I, I can promise you like everywhere I've worked, people always thought that I'm quiet, but they don't know. It takes me time for me to actually open up to people. So... You know, here I am watching everybody getting opportunity growth, watching everybody. Like when I mean everybody, everybody get the opportunity to grow. And here I am struggling at the back of the line. And I'm like, what is going on? That's when you start having all these questions like, wait, what am I doing wrong? What's really going on? Like you're trying to figure out, like, is there something bad I'm doing? This was back in 2012, I think. Back in 2012. So, okay, that's fine. So, you know, as the time goes, you know, you start, you know, getting to open up. I mean, the cast and everybody, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I was so open to everybody, like, the people. But the managers, they were just snakes. I'm sorry. Like, the, the, the managers around that time when I used to work there, everybody was just, like... You know what I'm saying? Another one of the ladies actually checked me for not saying bless you when one of the guests was sneezing. I'm like, fuck y'all. I don't give a damn about bless nobody. You sneeze, you sneeze, motherfucker. I don't give a damn. I don't give a damn. Sneeze for you. I, you not getting no bless you for me, from me or from nobody. Well, the way she approached me about it, it wasn't like, oh, why didn't you say, you know, bless you when the guest sneeze? You know, she was like, hey, can you come here? I'm like, okay. You know, when they try to pull you at the back, making a big deal out of nothing. I could be um, discriminated. I would say if I wanted to do, I would be like, okay, that's a discrimination because that's like a religious type of discrimination. If you're going to discriminate me, it's not a discrimination though. If you're going to discriminate me or if you're going to hate me for not saying bless you, when somebody sneezes, it's none of your business. It's none of my business. If they sneeze, they sneeze for their own. And I'm not expecting you to say bless you to me when I sneeze. So he, she pulls me aside and, and, and don't, get, don't even get me wrong. I used to like her. I used to like Like, I used to like her. Okay? I really used to like her. But she called me at the bag and she's like, hey, um, I just want to find out. You know, I just want to talk to you about something. I'm like, okay, perfect. What's going on? She calls me at the bag. Okay, and then she's like, so when you pass by that guest, you saw the guest sneeze. I'm right. I'm like, okay, yeah, I saw them sneeze. And then she was like, okay, so you didn't say bless you. I'm like, uh huh? Remember, I'm still new in the US. Okay, this is more like a culture shock to me. I'm, I'm trying to like adjust to everything right now. I don't even like. I don't even care and I don't even see people, you know what I'm saying? And I don't even think that is a big deal if you don't say bless you or, or something like that. And I'm like, okay. Well, I was like, oh, well, um, I'm, I'm sorry. I, I, I do not know. Like, I, I don't know I'm supposed to say bless you. Like, deep down, I knew I was supposed to say bless you. But to me, it's really not a big deal. You can sneeze. I don't really have to say bless you. You know what I'm saying? It's not a big deal. It's not a big deal, really. I know. I know, like, we say it, but it's, it's not a big deal to me. So she was like, oh, okay, just make sure that next time you you say that. I was like, I know you fucking lying. I know you fucking lying right now. You know, I hate confrontation. I hate it so bad that, you know what I'm saying? Like, I shut down. Like, I don't know how to respond to the, to, to, you know, to the conflict. It's just so hard for me to just like, you know, confront someone. I try to avoid it by all means. You know what I'm saying? So that's fine. You know, 
Things keep happening, but sometimes you don't even realize. One of the guys that I used to work with, he had called me very derogatory word, name calling and shit. And I told one of the managers, the managers, I was like, this is what this person is saying to me. And we are on clock. We are still clocked in. We are, you know, this person just said this to me. So, and they never did anything, anything. I'm like, okay, that's fine. Whatever. But let me tell you what happened. Here is the good part of the story, okay? Very interesting part of the story is I felt like they were trying to fire me, to find a way to fire me. And honestly, I think that's the only place where, you know, people had put me in a corner for no freaking reason. Honestly, when you think about it, like, this is the only place where pe people have put me in a corner for no freaking reason. I'm not going to lie. So this lady, and I know I was wrong. Let, let me just get that straight. I know I was wrong from the beginning, okay? I was wrong. So in the morning, I'm supposed to open. I'm, so, I'm one of the, the crew that's supposed to open the restaurant. I don't, I don't really open. Somebody else does that. But my post, I'm supposed to be at my post at a certain time. No, I wasn't actually opening. I was under the impression that one of my colleagues was opening. And of course, he was opening. I think he was, he was supposed to be there like 6.30 or something, like 6.30 in the morning. And then I was supposed to be there at 7, right? 6.30, I was supposed to be there at 7. My bad. So I come in. Usually, you have to clock in within 15 minutes. 15 minutes before you, you... You are good to clock in five minutes before before time. If you're clocking uh, anything uh, uh, before five minutes, you can get reprimanded for that. So what happened was I came in. I think I came in around like, um, like 6.55 and I clocked in 65, 6.55. But instead of going straight to the post, I went to the cafeteria. My stupid self went straight to the cafeteria. <laughs> so I was in the cafeteria and then I waited in the cafeteria with one of my, like they were other people. They were just like, you know, doing what we had to do. Like, you know what I'm saying? Talking, laughing and all of that. And then um, I don't know what's going on. Had called out. And I did not know that this person called out. I did not know that this person called out. And this is my guy. This is like, you know what I'm saying? This is one of my friends, like very, very close friend. And I'm thinking that, oh, Damanu Santali thing, no, no, like he's already got everything. You know, I can be like five minutes late, you know, I'm fine. Or I can be like, you know what I'm saying? I can be like five or 10 minutes. And I'm thinking, oh, seven in the morning, the managers are still in the office. No one cares. You know what I'm saying? Like they are just in there in the office doing what they got to do. Okay. So, like I'm chilled. Like I'm really chilled. I don't know the, that place there. This guy, Ham, Ham, is empty. Okay. So I'm having fun. And then, all of a sudden, one of the managers from the other restaurant, because it was like more like a connected restaurant, it's like a quick service restaurant, and it's a main restaurant. This person comes in the cafeteria, and then he sees me in there, and then he comes to me. He's like, wait, aren't you supposed to be at the desk? I'm like, um... <laughs> I'm like, uh, yeah, I'm supposed to be there at the desk. And it's like, okay, well, um, follow me right now. It's fine. So we were supposed to go in his office, in the manager's office. But on the way there, he was like, you know what? No, no, no. You know what? Just go, go straight to the, um, go straight to the, uh, uh, um, to the podium and then to the desk. And then we'll talk later. I was like, okay, perfect. So all this time I'm at the desk. I'm freaking spooked and freaking nervous. Standing there, like, I'm not even, like, creating gas. I'm, like, I'm freaking in, in I'm, I'm shook. You know, I'm, I'm, like, you know, I'm done. I'm, like, I'm, 
I'm done. I'm done, done, done. And I think I was like six months. I was set. No, not six months. I was almost done. I think I was almost a year, like maybe like 10 months or 11, no, nine months in the program. Okay. So like, I'm scared. I am so scared. I'm like, I had to like, you want to manage a tell man if I like, since they get sweet, like, oh my God, oh my God, they're going to call me. They're going to call me. They're going to call me. Oh, I'm getting fired. Okay. So, but, 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 you know, like at least one or two hours before my shift ends, one of the manager, I used to hate her. I'm not even going to lie. That was insane. Oh my God. I used to like, I'm not even going to lie. I used to hate that lady. I'm not going to mention her name, but I used to hate her with all oh my guts. Prior to that, she has never did anything wrong to me, but she used to hate me too. Like I could see, I could see that she just loved. And I'm like, I've never done anything to you. I have never disrespected you. I have never, I have never. That lady would just come to the desk and individually single greet everybody in the desk and then skip me and like i'm like what are you what are you doing you're not you don't see me right you don't see me i'm standing right here you're gonna come here and then you're gonna act like you don't even see me i'm like what did i do to this lady what did i say i've never said anything bad about her i've never talked about her i've never said anything like i don't even know her I don't even know her, but the, the energies were not really clicking at all, at all. But she used to hate me. Like, I'm like, I did not do anything to you, lady. Well, and she was the one. Okay. I feel like she, 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 she was, that she baited me. She was just waiting for me to like fuck up so that she can, you know, threat me. I'm like, oh, whatever. That's fine. So this lady calls me to the to the office okay she calls me to the office and then i go to, i go in the back office and it's four other managers in there four other managers in there including the guy who caught me in the morning okay including the guy who caught me in the morning so this lady's like so um and i'm not even uh, you know at that you know, at that point, I know that they were doing their job and it was my bad. This is just the story time. And it's not, I don't have anything personal against them at this point. But I just felt like, you know what I'm saying? I just have to say something. You know what I'm saying? Like, share the story. It's a story. It has to be told. So she's like, okay, so earlier today in the morning, what happened? I'm like, what? What are you talking about? Like, this morning... What happened? Explain to me after you clock in this morning, what happened? Where did you go? Like, explain to me from the beginning. When you came in and clocked in, what happened? So, I, I, I you know, the guy who called me is there, you know. He's just waiting for me to lie. I'm like, there's really no point of lying at this point because, like, you caught me right there. Like, I have no, listen, I have no excuse. You caught me. Like, you caught me. I can't even say, like, I was going to the bathroom, but I was literally sitting the fuck down. I was sitting down, and you can't say, oh, I just I was just in the bathroom. No, like, it was just making the situation worse. So that's why I don't even want to argue it. I was like, well, this is what happened, da 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 I was like, okay, perfect. So he was like, this is what we're going to do, okay? So for doing that, um, here is, we, we uh, unfortunately... We're going to have to have you to reprimand you for this. Remember that I think you have to get like four reprimands. But they expire after a certain time. Um, no, you can get maximum of three reprimands. If you get the fourth reprimand, you're out of the door. You can get the first, the second, and I think you can get the third. And then the fourth one, you out the door. That's more like you get the first warning, second warning, third warning, the last warning. The last, the last one is not a warning. It's a freaking out the door. So she's like, okay, here's your first reprimand. Just go ahead here and sign here. And then I took the reprimand. I took, oh, he was, and then first he was like, well, so the reprimand, oh, this is what he said. He's like, so if, if you want to sign this, this is, these are reprimands. Um, you have to sign this. You know, if you don't want to sign, you're more than welcome to do that. We can 
um, arrange somebody from the union to come. You know, like, I think I was paying the union or something. I don't even know if I was paying that or not. But she had mentioned that, you know, if I wanted somebody, the representative from the union to come over and be with me just to kind of like type of like a lawyer type of situation, which is not really a lawyer, but um, somebody who would like, you know, try to to finesse me or something like that. And I was like, it's not necessary. Just go and, I'll just go ahead and sign. So she gave me the first paper. I signed. And then she was like, oh, here's another one. Gave me the second one. Ooh, I'm freaking scared now. I was like, ooh, am I getting fired? That's the first warning, the second warning. At the same time, I'm like, okay, perfect. I take the second one. I put my signature on there. And then he's like, oh, here's another one. Boom. I was like, that paid at me. You can't give somebody three warnings all at once at the same freaking time. Like, you cannot do that. You cannot do that. Like, and I have never, like, I've never been late. I've never did anything wrong. That was my first, you know what I'm saying? That was my first fuck up I've, you know, I've ever done since I worked in that place. She gave me, like, she gave me the first reprimand, second reprimand, and then she gave me a third reprimand. A third reprimand. All at once. She was like, sign here, one, sign here, two, sign here, three. I was like, I am done. I'm done. Like, I was like, I've never seen people that hate like that. And they sat there and they watched that <laughs> abuse me. They watched her ruin my life. Ruin my freaking day. Right in there. I mean, I had no choice. I signed it. I was like, oh, well, I guess. You know? You know what I'm saying? I just signed it. I signed the first, second, and third. And then... um. And then I was I was at the door, and I was like, "This is more like the situation was really nerve wracking when you went because when I came in the office, it was just like all of them. They, they were, you could see that they were ready, like they were. Re and I felt like I th honestly, I felt like maybe one of the managers in there said, "No, don't do that." I felt like they were actually trying to get me out. They were trying to to, to fire me, but probably one of the managers said, "No, no, 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 don't do that. Just give him three of that, and then if he fuck up for the last time before he will be out." So I, f I felt like, you know, I felt like that's what she was trying to do. So she gave me these three reprimands. I signed them. And then, you know, I was there. The whole week, I was not myself at all. I felt like I was in a very abusive place. Like, I was so scared. Every time I'm waiting at the desk, I, I'm shaking. I see a person walk by. I smile. Even though I fake smile it, like... I was so freaking scared. I see the manager coming. I want to go to the restroom. I'm sweating. My hands start sweating. I start, you know, I want to throw up because I was nervous. I'm expecting the last write-up. The last write-up, I'm out the door. I can't fuck up. I can't fuck up. And that comes straight to the, to the desk and try to be nice and all of that. I'm like, bitch, get the fuck out of here. Don't, don't try to be nice to me when you know that you, you, you're trying to get me out of here. Don't be nice to me. So, man, that was like, that was the whole freaking thing right there. That was the whole freaking thing. I, I will never forget that moment. Like when I was when I was looking at Melita while she was sitting there on the desk, that just kind of like brought the whole thing back. I'm like, oh my god, this is this is what's happening. This is really really what happened to me. Well, no, not in my case, but this is um. This is what happened. So that was that. After that, I was like, fuck out of here. I'm out of here. Like, just hate me. This never gave me any opportunity. This like never give a fuck about me. Like no one really cared about me. Like everybody got promoted. And you know what I'm saying? Everybody got promoted. Everybody got they, you know what I'm saying? Like everybody was given a chance to be something except me. And some, you know, I mean, but it's like, Come on, man. What did I do to you? So that was that. I just want to tell you that 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 little scary moment that I've ever experienced around this, that time. And I felt like I should share it with you guys. Okay. Well, I'm going to end it right here. Uh, that, was, that was insane. Just go ahead and hit the subscribe. Go ahead and hit the like. 
go ahead and hit the share if you feel like doing that. Okay, I will see you guys with another video next time. I gotta go. Peace out.